it's Javier with Brush Plus Roller Painting. And if you want to learn the process to prep kitchen cabinets, stay tuned. So this is day one of prepping the kitchen cabinets. Uh, the first step that we take here is well, we wipe down all the cabinets with TSP and get all the grease, the dirt, all the debris off. And then we have uh, Victor doing that right now. And then we have Paul and myself, we're getting all the prep done. We already got the floorings all prepped with uh, red rods and paper. Uh, some people like to use plastic. We like to use paper. It's a lot easier for us. And then what we'll do is we'll make a map of where each door goes. We'll start numbering them, unmounting them, and then get them in the garage so we can start sanding them and we'll start prepping out the, uh, the openings. So this is the beginning process. Wipe down, get them clean, unmount, prep kitchen, and then we'll prep garage. And we'll show you what that uh, next step looks like here in a few minutes. So we have our map here. So we know individually where each uh, door and drawer goes we number them from left to right and all our drawers are alphabetical so We have all our cabinets covered already. We use paper all the way out through out with a masking um, A masking tool to be able to mask out the paper So we're gonna have Paul over here kind of show us the process on that how that works so first, you know, we take off the doors take off the hardware and then what we do is uh, we'll leave the hardware's the tops and the bottoms separate so we know which one goes to which and we don't have to uh, uh, readjust the doors or the drawer so as you can see here take off the hardware And I know everybody has a different process to do things, but we separate them and we put them in a certain order so we know which one's top, which one's bottom. And then we'll take off the drawer. And in this case, that one's gonna be letter A. This is gonna be the very first drawer. So we'll take, uh, let me get a marker here for, for Paulo. Mark a letter A on that one so we know which one's which. And then on the back of the drawer, we'll mark a, a letter A on it as well. All right, so we've numbered the drawer. So what we do for the doors is we'll do that opening there where the hardware goes and we'll just put the number there. We'll put a piece of tape over it so when we spray, that number doesn't get covered. Sounds good. So that one's all good to go. So now Paula's gonna show us here how we prep the inside here with masking paper and tape. So we remove the hardware for the drawer. We always remove this uh, I see a lot of people just placing tape over it or they just spray right over it. It's not very professional, so. Please subscribe and like the video if you're finding this material useful. So we're trying to get a good size. There's a little bitty like lip in behind there. So you'll take that and uh, you know just kind of put it there. So when we place the masking paper, it'll be just perfect. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this tape is an inch and a half tape. Uh, it's a lot thicker than your inch tapes. It's a little bit more expensive, but it makes it a lot easier when you're placing the uh, paper on there. So you just want to get it on there nice and tight.
and then once we're done with here uh, we'll mask off the dishwasher and the microwave and the fridge uh, we're just gonna kind of finish out the prep here we're in the garage with the doors sanding them down and we'll show you what that looks like here in a few minutes and why do we use the white tape versus the the blue masking tape uh, the white tape we feel is a lot more stickier than the blue tape we've we've had trouble with the, even with the frog tape we'll put the frog tape on there and as you spray it just seems to you know not stick very well so you'll see Paulo here you'll take a good measurement he leaves about you know a few few centimeters in between just to get a nice little you know grip on there and we use a nine inch masking paper it seems a pretty uh, seems to be a pretty good standard size and as you see he just cut it down and make it fit nice and evenly in there so I mean that's what it is and that's what you have to do for each one of them I know a lot of people like to use plastic uh, I don't I'm not a big fan of using plastic so this is what we use and this is the way that we do it so yeah guys so you're getting a, a good idea here of how it has to be done and the, these opens over here they're gonna have uh, they're a glass door so we have to paint the insides of these the same color and the color is going to be amazing gray all right guys so we got the doors all prepped and i have one more over here i'm going to show you an example of how we get it done i'm gonna give paulo here the camera so since we have this crevice here on the cabinet we're going to take a 150 grit and we're going to stick it in between you know that so that that is very important for proper adhesion then we're going to take this sponge uh sander so we can get in these little details here and then we'll take our 120 flat palm sander and we'll kind of get these edges it's very important here that we get a uh a dead flat uh sand because otherwise when you put the primer and top coat, it'll be very bumpy. And for, you know, any imperfections, holes, this is the fill stick that we use. Very good. You don't have to wait for it to dry. It doesn't shrink. It doesn't crack. Put it on there, sand it, and it's good to go. They come in white and in different colors. In this case, we're painting the cabinets gray. So we got a gray fill stick. All right, guys, let me show you how it's done. So I'll first take my little sander here. Get it in this crevice. You have a lot of oils, grease built up in there. So you want to make sure that you get it nice and sand it. And I always do this process first before before passing this sander so I can get a nice dead and flat afterwards. So we'll take our sponge and get these little rounded areas so you don't kill it. Keeps it uniform. See I can see. Well, let me put on the mask. I'm sorry guys. Get these areas right here. And what we want to achieve here is we want to basically just take off that clear coat that's over it. That's going to give us the best adhesion. I'm not too worried about burning through the, through the stain. I'm not worried about doing this part here, just killing off the clear coat. I'm gonna come with the palm sander. <laughs> 